Shalom, shalom, shalom. I want to give our praise, glory, and honor to us, Yah, by saying, Hallelujah. Yahweh is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Elohim of Israel, the Holy One of Israel, the Savior and Redeemer of Israel. I'm Torah Tanakh Old Testament, the Book of Life, the Book of Remembrance, Ten Toes Down. And we'll love to all the chosen ones, all the chosen elect, and chosen remnant of Israel. I love you all. Stay strong. Keep your head up. Stay positive. Don't quit. Never give up. Stay the course to the end. Keep praising Yah all the way to the graveyard. All the way to the grave. Hallelujah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Another video. Another video. Welcome back to my channel. I'm the Cal Subscribe. Like, comment, share, tell post notifications, and tap the bell. So it's time I drop in a lot of video. You'll be notified. So turn the bell. Ding, ding, ding. And if you like this video, then please give fat thumbs up. Ching, ching, ching. And I hope everyone is having a day of just of just living life and not caring no more. I'm also having a day of just living life and not caring no more. Not caring any longer. For today's topic subject title, spiritual teaching, spiritual knowledge, spiritual message, is going to be about, it's going to be on, it's going to be titled So Many Questions But Cannot Get the Exact Right Answers. This matrix is a mystery. This matrix at Earth that we live on is such a big mystery. We don't know what's what because we got the Bible and we got all these books and history is told through us through a Bible and Bible knowledge is told through us through a Bible. But man wrote these books. Man wrote the Bible and man wrote all these history books. Man wrote all these books. We have not heard no God voice come from up the sky and tell us that I wrote the Bible or, or no voice has came and told us. We have heard no voice up the sky that has told us these books are true. This history is true. This concept is true. This spiritual information is true. This spiritual knowledge is right. This is the right spiritual journey to believe in and be on. We got no proof of nothing. So really, we don't know what's what. We're stuck in this world of not knowing what's truly right and what's really wrong. All we go by is books, books that other people wrote, books that's been passed down from generation to generation. All been written, but all been written by men and women. So we're screwed and really lost. We stuck and don't know what. Like I say, so many questions, but we can never get the exact right answers and I believe there is a most high I believe there is a higher power I believe that the almighty creator and Elohim the almighty God is Yahweh is Yah I believe that but at times I just be I get confused and things be complicated I get conflicted 
And I'd just be wondering because I'm a Virgo and Virgos are thinkers and we analyze everything. So I analyze, I'm a thinker. A lot of times I overthink and I worry too much. Those are my Virgo traits. I can't help it. I'm mean, trying not to worry too much and not overthink too much, but it's just a trait that's always in me. It's a trait that's instilled in me that I constantly do. I work, I'm working on getting better at it. I've gotten a little better at it, but I still need more work in it. I'm still a work in process. <laughs> so it's just, I just, I question a lot of things. I don't mean to question the most high, but things don't seem right. To me, a lot of things don't seem fair. Okay, in my human mind and in our human minds, I know a lot of things don't seem fair to us. A lot of things don't seem right. Like, I've been wondering, like, why am I being gang stalked? I'm like, I'm righteous. I try to live and do right. I read my Bible. I pray. I'm not there. No, I'd be like, a lot of times I say to myself, I've not done anything worse than no one else. I say to myself, I've not done anything worse than no one else. I've done nothing worse than anyone else. I mean, why I'm, why I'm, I be questioning, why I'm constantly, I be questioning, why I'm constantly going through spiritual persecution, constantly being gang stalked, harassed, being blacklisted with can I find a job and can I get good employment my car got messed up I was a food delivery driver with Uber Eats and Grubhub and my car got messed up why did I mean like, why did that go through why did the evil go through and let these gang stalkers mess my car up so now well, I can't work because I, as a TI, I'm blacklisted. I cannot get jobs. Jobs do not hire me because a TI is a conspiracy against us. And these evil people and evil forces, they do smear campaigns on our names. They make up lies on us. They tell lies and rumors on us. And they go to these jobs and tell the hiring managers, do not hire us. So, so that's why we can't get a job. They tell these hiring managers, do not hire us. Do not give us these jobs. So that's why we cannot get these jobs. And, uh, and a lot of times we're stuck being unemployed, having no income. And a lot of TIs are homeless or living in shelters and because I'm blacklisted and can't really get a job I was being an independent contractor I was being independent self-employed um, I set my own hours I was my own boss and I was making I was being self-employed and being like an entrepreneur on my own by using my car deliver food with Uber Eats and Grubhub. And then they took my car away. They took away the one thing where I was being self-employed, independent, and could make money on my own. I was my own boss. I set my own hours. I made my own schedule. I was in complete control over when I work, the days I want to work, how much I want to work, and how long I want to work. I had the independence and the self-employment advantage. And now they took that away from me. They took the way that I was being self-employed, entrepreneur, they took that away from me. It's not fair. A lot of times I'd be like, I know in the Bible it says that family curses. I know about a generation of family curses. 
a generation of family karma, which your ancestors did, the karma comes back on you. I know about that. I know about all of that. And it says in the Bible that the ancestor sins, it falls on the third and fourth generation. It falls on the future generation. But it's not fair. It's not it's not question the most high. I question the most high. And I'm like, it's not fair. I'm like, why should people have to pay for the ancestor's sins? I mean, I'm like, the ancestors did the sins. They did evil. They did evil, bad things. Witchcraft, killed, stole. They did they did those sins. The future generation, the future generation did not do those sins. So I'm like, I'm like, I did not do this. I'm like, I did not do those sins. So why am I suffering and paying the price for my ancestor sins? I did no witchcraft. I killed no one. I stole from no one. I lied on no one. I did not do no evil bad things to anyone. I did not do those sins. And I just, it's not fair that I got to pay for an ancestor sin that I didn't do. These ancestors I never met. I don't know them. And I, I, I'm paying for their sins. I didn't do the sin. And I'm like, and I'm straightening up. I'm trying to do right. I read my Bible. I pray. I live and eat right. I try to be righteous. I keep the commandments to the best of my ability. All the all the laws, statutes, commandments, the precepts, judgments, the rules, laws, and guidelines. I'm trying my best. No one is perfect. We can't be perfect as humans. We can't be perfect in these human bodies and having this human mind. But I'm trying to do, I'm, like, I'm not doing nothing. I'm like, why am I constantly being picked on? It's like, I'm not doing nothing, but I'm constantly being picked on. And now I'm trying to relocate because a lot of times they say that when you're being gang stalked in one city, town, or state, real bad and terrible and it's like they have lied to people about you they put rumors they put false rumors on you and turn the whole community against you it's time to get out and go it's, it's time to relocate to another city town or state hopefully that hopefully things get better and to where I'm leaving I'm trying to relocate and leave so hopefully things will get better. The gang stalking is never going to totally go away. But I'm hoping that the gang stalking will be less and things will get better and I can get a job and I can get a higher paying job or an average paying job, get an apartment, pay my bills, buy food, try to save up for a car and just leave this and just leave and just live decent I don't want to be rich I don't have to be rich and I don't want to be rich I'm not asking for no riches I'm asking to be just in between I want to have enough to just pay my bills buy food have some money saved up have a savings have some money that have some money that I can just have some spending money to just buy things that to buy things that I want when I want to treat myself. I just want to live in between and live decent. That's all I want. I don't ask for much. I'm not an ungrateful person. I'm very grateful. And it's like I cannot get the simple things. It's like I cannot get the simple things out of life. It's like life can never go smooth. It's like something always has to go wrong in life. It's like evil always has to counteract good. It's like evil has to 
have his way. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I'm not losing faith. I, I'm going to keep my faith to stay strong. But I'm being honest. I'm not going to lie. I'm being honest. A lot of times, it seems like evil has to prevail. A lot of times, it just seems like evil has to have its way and prevail. It just seems like that all the time. It's, it's, it's like if something goes good for you, it's like some evil just got to come in, mess it up, tear it apart, and take it from you, and take it away from you. It's like it's like evil has to always rain on your parade and, and counteract and stop something so i just been wondering i know about family cur i know i know i'm going to be family curses i know i'm going to be that so that's why i'm having it hard and being gang stalked and i'm a ti a targeted individual but then also keep going back and saying also also wonder and go back and say and think did i do something bad in my past life i've been thinking did i do something bad in my past life and now I got to pay for it in this life and that's why I'm going through a lot of trials and tribulations now I, I go back and forth and think of that I know I know I'm going to I know I'm going through a lot because a generational family curses I know I'm going through a lot because a generational family curses and my ancestors sends the karma is falling on me. But then I'd be thinking, did I do something bad in my past life? Then now I got to pay for it in this life? I'd be thinking, is that also a reason or why I'm going through so much, why I'm always being messed with? Why these gang stalkers is allowed to just, just torture me? With their directed energy weapons and they're trying to slowly break down my health and trying to kill me. They got me feeling tired all the time. These evil gang stalkers got me. They got me feeling tired all the time. I feel sluggish. I feel drained. No energy. And I be, I be sleeping a lot. And I feel weak. A lot of times I feel weak. It's like they're slowly bringing down my body, just trying to destroy and kill me. And I'm like, I'm like, is the evil being permitted and allowed to go through because I did some bad evil sins in a past life, and now I gotta pay for it now and a family curse. I'm thinking that it's both. I'm thinking I'm thinking it's a it's a family curse and I did bad things in a past life and now I gotta pay for it now. I was thinking are those I know family curse is true, but also doing bad in a past life. Is that another reason why why the evil is allowed to go through on me? Is that another reason why the evil is allowed to work on me? I I be wondering, but I, and it's some questions because a lot of people think that in the in the Old Testament on Judgment Day in the end in the last days in the end on Judgment Day, Yah said that the righteous is going to be brought back into the land in, in Jerusalem where His name is set in Israel. But there's other beliefs. If there's other beliefs is that in that. So other beliefs is after we die and the afterlife. If you're righteous, then you're going to the next higher dimension, a higher spiritual realm. And, and the wicked evil, they're going to they go into the light and they're trapped on the moon and they're trapped on Saturn. And they're going to reincarnate back down here on this matrix again but i read a book of enoch in the book of enoch it says that after you die and the afterlife if you're righteous that you go to 
a dimension and a spiritual realm where where the righteous go and the wicked evil they go to a dimension and a realm where all the evil people go they said in the book of Enoch says the righteous go on a realm and dimension where it says that the book of Enoch says the righteous goes on a dimension and a realm where all the righteous people go and the evil people go on a realm and dimension where all the evil people go and and we're there until judgment day so righteous is on a righteous realm and the evil is on the evil realm and the, and the righteous and evil are both on their different realms and different dimensions unto judgment day and and on judgment day i think on the spiritual realm i think on the spiritual realm all the righteous is there in book of enoch is saying that all the righteous bible characters abraham isaac jacob moses noah King David, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, all the righteous, all the righteous prophets and Bible characters is on their realm and dimension of the righteous right now. They're the realm of the righteous where all the righteous people are at, and they're there right now waiting until judgment day. And we're going to explain that the evil wicked is on the realm with all the wicked Bible characters all the wicked evil Bible characters and the wicked evil people is stuck on a realm and dimension of the evil where all the evil people is at and they're stuck there and they are there to this day awaiting their judgment on judgment day yeah so so, so, so that explains and the afterlife of us going to different dimensions and different realms. The book of Enoch explains it. So now I have a better understanding of it. And those that's, those, and that after you die in the afterlife, if you're wicked and evil and you're stuck on that, and you're stuck on that moon, you're stuck on the moon planet and the evil planet of Saturn. If you're stuck on the evil dimension and evil realm, in the book of Enoch, it says that once you get there, everything is you're going to see all your mistakes that you made while you was living on this matrix, living on this earth. The things is like you're going to see images and like a video of everything being flash before your eyes. You're going to see a lot of flashbacks of, of your life, of everything you did, all your bad deeds, all your sins, all the evil you did. And yeah, I try to come to you, but you rejected him and did not accept him and kept doing evil, wicked, bad things. All that's, all that's going to be shown to you, all your mistakes. It's going to be shown to you why you ended up on that evil realm and dimension where all the evil at and why you're not being saved. You're going to be tortured because the fallen angels is already on that realm. You're going to see the fallen angels being chained up on that realm and you're going to be tortured and stuck with the fallen angels and, and all the other evil people like you on the evil realm on the evil dimension and, and you're not being saved you just stuck on that realm you just stuck with that realm and dimension until judgment day and, and, and on judgment day when y'all judge you you're going to be destroyed forever for eternity but your punishment is also going to be in the new earth the new Jerusalem you might be a slave to the righteous people in the new earth 
in the new Jerusalem. That's your punishment. Being a slave, being tortured, being beat, whipped, and, and, and raped, suffering, and going through a lot of pain. That'd be a torture and your misery. And then after that, when God is the, after that, when God is done with you, you have been destroyed, killed, and dead. Yah is going to destroy, strike you down, and kill you, and you're going to be just gone forever. For eternity, for infinity, you're just gone, dead, never coming back. Your existence is gone. Your existence is over. For those on a spiritual realm, for the righteous on a spiritual realm, and the dimension where all the righteous people at, that's for the righteous on Judgment Day, when Yah judges us. We're going to New Jerusalem. We're going home. We're going back to Jerusalem. We're going to. We're going to the New Jerusalem, where Yah name is set. We're going to Israel. We're going back to. We're going back to, the Holy Land. We're going back to, our land. We're going back to, our Holy Land. We're going back home. We're returning back home. We're going to the new earth. And on the new earth, there's so much wealth and prosperity that's stored for us there. On the new earth, there's so much wealth and treasures that's stored for us there. The new earth uh, is paradise. That's our heaven. Yeah, so we got some great rewards waiting for us. But 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 we just gotta stay strong and take this bad beating. We gotta take this bad beating and this bad a whipping of being persecuted and suffering by being gang stalk and, and, and just suffer. And being suffered by the evil demons, always messing with us, always effing with us. We gotta take a bad beating to receive our reward in the end, because because in the new earth, in the new land, it's going to be beautiful, joy, peace, and happiness, just total bliss and perfect. Everything is going to be pure, perfect. Wealth, treasures, prosperity. We're not going to want for nothing. We're going to have everything and get anything that we want, need, and desire. But it's all a fight. We gotta fight in this matrix, this prison planet. This is the realm of hell. Earth is hell. We gotta fight so we get that reward in the end. We gotta fight and stay strong so we gotta fight and stay strong so we receive all those great rewards, all those great and tremendous rewards and blessings. In the new earth, on the new land, yeah, we got to we got to stay strong to receive those great and tremendous. We got to stay strong so we can receive those great and tremendous rewards and blessings on the new earth in the new land. Yeah, but these, if it's hard, and easy. I gotta stay strong because these gang stalkers, they do V2K on me. They mess with my thoughts. They put bad thoughts in my head. They put crazy thoughts in my head. It's a lot of mind control, MK Ultra. And I admit, I, I be, I have crazy thoughts in my head. I, be, I have crazy thoughts in my head. And I'm trying not to feed into 
these crazy thoughts. I gotta stay strong and keep my head up. I gotta keep my mind clear. I, I think I need strong mind clarity and great mental stability. I gotta keep my mind clear and focus. And I gotta keep my thoughts clean and perfect. My thoughts gotta be clean and perfect as much as I can and to the best that I can because I I be kind of feeding into these crazy off thoughts at times but it's like I fight it's like I'm constantly fighting with these crazy off thoughts they put in my head with B2K Voice the Skull and, and these directed energy weapons that they're attacking my body with making me feel sick, weak, sluggish, tired, and just and just and just be lazy and, and feel down all the time. Like I can't do nothing. It got me feeling down in the dumps. Like I can't do nothing. Like I say, all we can go with is our belief. And sometimes, and sometimes, our belief can be wrong. But we gotta trust that the higher power of the Most High Yahweh is guiding us with the right beliefs. We gotta trust that. We, we gotta trust. We gotta trust the Most High God on that. We gotta trust the Most High God that He is leading us in the right way. We gotta trust that. We gotta trust that He is leading and guiding us right. We gotta trust that he's leading and guiding us in the right direction and down the right path. And that and he's giving us the right beliefs to believe in and give us the right feelings. That what we are feeling and thinking is true and right. We gotta trust to just we just got to lean on him. And trust and depend on him. That he has led us to the right spiritual knowledge. And the right spiritual journey. And the right spiritual beliefs. That's all we can do because like I say. We have no proof. We don't really know what's right. Because it's so many questions. But like we cannot do not. And never get the exact right answers. So you just got to lean and depend on the most high for all wisdom, all knowledge, all understanding, and all truth. And just have the faith and trust him that he is leading us right and he's guiding us right with the right feelings, thoughts, and beliefs. Oh, this message was encouraging, inspiring, inspirational, get motivation, motivational, get spiritual enlightenment, spiritual intellectualness and spiritual knowledge to all the chosen, all the chosen ones, all the chosen left and chosen remnant of Israel. That I know there are so many questions. There are so many questions that's going to just always go unanswered. Okay, and, and can I get a Zeph for answer? But we gotta lean on the most high Yah. That he's that he's leading us with the right feelings, thoughts, and beliefs. We gotta trust and just have faith that God is leading and guiding us right. Hey, I'm gonna count, subscribe, like, comment, share, turn posts, notifications, and turn the bell so it's not drop in, upload a video. You'll be notified. So turn the bell, ding, ding, ding. And if you like this video, then please give that thumbs up. Ching, ching, ching. I appreciate all the love and support. And I'll see you all in my next video. Enjoy the rest of your day of, of, just, of just having faith and trust that the Most High is leading you with the right feelings, thoughts, and beliefs. I'm also going to enjoy the rest of my day of knowing that the Most High is leading me 
with the right feelings, thoughts, and beliefs. And stay strong. Keep your head up. Stay positive. Don't quit. Never give up. Stay the course to the end. Keep raising Yah all the way to the grave. All the way to the graveyard. And again, one love to all the chosen ones, all the chosen left, the chosen remnant of Israel. I love you all. Again, bye chosen ones, bye chosen left, chosen remnant of Israel. Bye. Bye. And again, one love. I love you all. And I sincerely mean that. I sincerely and truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. Praise the mighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.